make sure you check out our other videos on accommodating building structural movement within uh, glazing system design. They're very important. Uh, some of them have to do with curtain wall instead of storefront. This one in particular has to do with storefront and how to accommodate building structural movement in the storefront system or right above the storefront system. So here's a part of the specifications for glazing contractors to be aware of. Architects, you need to be able to look at this and know that whatever you get back in from a delegated design that it covers this in their calculations. And so this is what it looks like whenever we have a joint at the head of a storefront system that is inappropriate for building structural movement. This type of joint is a fixed type of a joint. It doesn't allow for any building structural movement to occur. You can see that there is a, a wood blocking or something solid up at the top and that's interfacing the structure. It may have a beam that's up there and that beam carries that movement on down and you can see that there's a shim, a solid shim that occurs in between the, the glazing system and uh, the building structure. So watch out for that. If there is building structural movement, that needs to be identified, architect, by your structural engineer of record. They need to identify where it occurs at above storefront and above curtain wall systems for that to be appropriately identified in your details. Now if you have this type of detail and you're requiring building structural movement at that type of detail and you show that, I actually believe that you are somewhat liable, architect, in calling out something that cannot be met. And so if there are any lawyers that are out there that are also listening to this video, I would be willing to testify on behalf of the glazing contractor because there's a lot of glazing contractors that are getting caught in this dirty little mess where it's being shown wrong in details. Now this is an appropriate detail to show if there is building structural movement. It requires a new system at the top of the storefront to be able to account for the building structural movement. This type of detail available from most all manufacturers storefront can accommodate roughly plus or minus three eighths of an inch of building structural movement and thermal uh, movement in the system itself. So just be aware of that whenever you're designing these systems. Sometimes we've had things come back and a half inch or maybe even more than that of structural movement is required. There are no systems that are available that are out there manufactured by storefront manufacturers that can accommodate that type of movement. There's virtually no way that a glazing contractor can figure out building structural movement, how much it is and where it occurs at up front while they're bidding these types of projects. It's not fair, it's outside of their range of expertise.